So the Italian line introduces a whole line of new medium tanks. Um, they have pretty decent handling and relatively good armor along with their great guns. For the Italian line, you basically get a, uh, a solid medium class. Uh, Obviously at the eight, nine, 10 level, you get the auto reloading mechanic, which I think a lot of people are gonna be really excited to play. Most Italian tanks were not really designed to be anti-tank weapons. I think, you know, that's why everyone talks about the P-40, because the P-40 was a very solid Italian tank, and that was definitely a tank that was designed for anti-tank warfare. The auto reloading mechanic, uh, not to be confused with the auto-loading mechanic, you'll basically have uh, something which a lot of players have been asking for, which is the ability to reload one shell at a time. Uh, with that, though, comes a new balancing act where the more shells that you reload, the actual longer your reload time will be. So one of the biggest challenges for introducing the auto loaders was just the tech. Well, to use the auto loader features and the mechanics, we basically had to grab from farther in the future. That's usually fine when we're doing new tanks, like the Polish line or some of the other tanks. But to do actual game mechanics like auto loaders requires a lot of back-end functionality with engineering. So that was a lot more work, as well as just trying to get behind the whole mechanics of how the auto loaders actually work, because it's a lot more complex than one would think. So if you only reload the first shell, it'll actually reload quicker than if you reload the, either the second or the third shell. So if you empty your entire magazine of shells, then uh, you will have to have a longer reload than, again, if you were just firing the first shell. There's also an intro reload period where uh, you can't fire at all while it's going from the first shell to the second shell, or the second shell to the third shell. So. You can't empty your clip uh, necessarily as fastly as you could with an auto loader. The most important thing to keep in mind when fighting Italian auto loader tanks is that the lower tiers, I mean, they have decent armor and mobility, but when you start getting to the higher tiers where they do have the auto reloaders, you always have to be wary because you never know how many shells they actually have ready at a time. Could be one, could be three, could be four. You just never know. So just keep on your toes and just be prepared for anything when you rush in the battle for them because it's not like a regular auto loader where they just dump the clip and they're stuck in a reload. If they're only firing one shell, they might be reloading a little faster. If they make the mistake of going through all their shells, then that's the biggest time to get them. So just keep an eye on how fast they're firing. Yeah, well, I think the most ideal situation would be that you only need to fire the first shell each time and you can time it, you know, bouncing between cover uh, to, to really just stick to that one shell. But if you see an enemy that you need to eliminate quickly, either it's in a bad position or, you know, it's almost dead or it's putting pressure on another tank, uh, if you have the option then to fire all of your shots and then, you know, pull back and then wait for it to reload completely. So, yeah, it'll be a really situational gun and I think that's what's cool about the line. You have to learn how aggressive you want to be in each situation. We hope you guys are gonna enjoy the Italian tanks. We're excited to finally bring them to you. We're really excited to see what kind of strategies you guys come up with. And uh, as always, you know, clip those awesome videos and send them to us. We'd love to see them. So thanks so much for playing and hope to see you on the battlefield soon.